Good morning. We've got a, a chilly morning starting the day here in North Alabama. It is springtime, they say. The calendar says it is. Uh, welcome back, as I said, and we're going to do lesson 15 if you're keeping track. Lesson 15 is about Pentecost. P E N T E C O S T, Pentecost, and the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostles, as some, some call it. Uh, after Easter, in some of the churches that I have attended over the years, there was a Sunday service called Pentecost Sunday. I was unsure of the meaning of the service, as you may have been or are, still are. And it had something to do with the advent or the coming of the Holy Spirit. The pouring out of the Holy Spirit, as they say. Also, the color red was used on the wall hangings and on the, the adornments of the pastor. And a lot of the people in the congregation wore red that day. The, the red is fairly easily explained. It was representative of the tongues of fire that the Holy Spirit was represented by on Pentecost Sunday. A, a little bit of research revealed that the day of Pentecost is seven weeks, 49 days after Easter. So it's a total of 50 days counting Easter Sunday. Seven weeks, 49 days, 49 days plus Easter. Pretty, pretty well covers the waterfront. It's a, Pentecost is a derivative of a Greek word meaning 50, the number 50. In essence, the day of Pentecost commemorates the coming or the descent of the Holy Spirit on the apostles, the followers of Jesus, the disciples, and all the followers of Jesus who were there. And it started out being, I think, a hundred and some, 120, 30, in that range. But they added several. I'll mention that again in a minute. The spatial day is also called White Sunday. I've never heard it called that, but it's, my research showed that it is also called White Sunday. The Monday following is a holiday in many countries. The Feast of Weeks is also celebrated 50 days after Passover. It's, it's in the Old Testament, and it was a festival of Jewish tradition or Hebrew tradition, and it had to do with the harvest of the wheat crop. Um, I guess they, they must have had winter wheat that, that was ready in, in the springtime. It was a week-long feast. It was a celebration of the spring harvest and its importance to us, Pentecost was the birth of the Christian church, beginning 10 days after Christ ascended into heaven. The Bible tells us, the New Testament tells us that before, before his disciples, I think it involved Peter and um, Paul were the two people he was talking to when he ascended into heaven, and it was, for, as the New Testament says, it was 40 days after the resurrection, and then add 10 more days, and that gives you Pentecost. The beginnings of the Christian church were celebrated in Jerusalem. That's something I didn't know and would have argued against. I thought it, it happened somewhere north of Jerusalem, but it, it happened in Jerusalem, and in fact, the Apostles and disciples stayed there for several weeks of time after the, this first Sunday. Uh, the exact location where they met that day is not known. Some contend that it was in the actual upper room where Jesus had his Passover, Passover dinner I should say, prior to the day that he was placed on the cross. He had his last Passover meal in the upper room. The book of Acts tells us a mighty rush of wind 
and tongues of fire, that's where you get the color red, the tongues of fire were poured out on the gathering, fulfilling Christ's promise of baptizing his followers with the Holy Spirit. Peter had said earlier to the question, what, what shall we do from the people gathered there? He said, be baptized for your sins and the Holy Spirit will be added to all of you. And this in fact happened. There were, as I said, some something over a hundred followers and these were not people called apostles, they weren't teachers of, of the Gospels, uh, the disciples. And Acts tells us that some 3,000 people were added that day, so it's most likely they were outside. They, they baptized these people, and the Holy Spirit was added, I believe, in, in the room, which certainly wouldn't have held that many people, so it must have also descended outside. Pentecost is regarded as the birthday and start of the Christian Church mission. It was another chance to confess failures and to live by the Spirit. It will be celebrated May 31st this year. Now it's uh, celebrated on different dates because Christmas, I mean Easter comes on different dates, so it's, it's always 49 days after Easter Sunday. The death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ is recalled in the advent of the Holy Spirit as Jesus promised. That is Pentecost Sunday. The Orthodox churches, the Eastern Orthodox Church, the Greek Orthodox Church, have Pentecost Sunday, but it's on different dates. They're on a different calendar for Easter Sunday, so therefore their date for Pentecost Sunday is different than ours of the Protestant persuasion. Acts, the book of Acts, or the Acts of the Apostles, is a history of the church with the key players are Paul and Peter and their establishment of churches in initially in the Greek and Turkish areas of the world. Much of Acts chronicles the establishment of these early Christian churches in the major cities and around the Roman Empire, Greek and Turkish empires. Those cities had followed pagan gods and goddesses before Jesus' apostles and disciples brought the good news of Christ, or the Gospels. That's what the Gospel means, it's the good news. As a reminder of the many hardships associated with coronavirus, I'm going to talk about something else here for a second. Hunger is at the door of the world right now. We, we know about it in the United States where one in seven children and one in twelve senior people are hungry. They don't have enough to eat. Here in my town, uh, the schools have continued with the feeding program that they had going on while schools were in session, but of course they're not in session now due to the coronavirus. But the schools are still providing, I believe, two meals a day, breakfast and lunch, and they, they will continue to be available as long as there are supplies. But the local food bank has run several ads on TV, which is a first as far as I know, because I follow the food bank pretty closely. And they're saying that they're having a hard time staying stocked. They need food donations and they need money donations. So if you can help the food bank, if you can help um, the Salvation Army, the Red Cross, any of the agencies, we, we have a rescue mission here that has probably a hundred people that are residents there. But they're going to run out of food. This is such a huge overtaking, trying to feed all the people due to the, the coronavirus and the, the closing and the loss of jobs and so forth. So let's feed the sheep. Do it through the, th the charity of your choice. You can send it to me if you want. I will send it to whatever charity you, you say, and I will ask them to send you a, rece a receipt or an acknowledgement. 
and I guarantee you they will. I get there's one in my mailbox every week. Okay, well let's play play a tune of music. Hopefully you're more knowledgeable now about Pentecost Sunday, and it it's not here yet. Look forward to it in May. Now I yesterday I put new strings on this guitar, and as you know, the first three strings I always called them gut strings, and then the this top pole, the top three strings are wound strings and for about the first week after you put them on the guitar won't stay tuned so let me check it not bad okay what will we play Call that some Recuerdos. The name of it is Recuerdos de la Alhambra. That, that is Spanish. And it's remembering the church. And I, I believe it was a mosque. Alhambra. It's a very famous song written in the 1800s. And I work on it every day. It's very difficult for me to play. <laughs> some people make it look easy. Have a good week. God bless you all.